and welcome. I'm Xander, and welcome back to Modded Skyrim. And, uh, you know, I really don't want to use that because it's just so, should I say, broken. But look, I fixed it. I have tails now. I have a tail. Woo. Yes, it clips a lot. I don't care. It doesn't clip when I'm walking. It clips when I'm running, but that's fine. Woo! Okay. So. Oh, come on. We fought the Force War. And we died once, but we more or less lived to tell about it. So, uh, what about Dwemer Automatons? Now, the easiest way to do that is Nushon Zev. I think I pronounced that right. I, I'm not 100% sure of how it's spelled, so that might actually be wrong. But, but, it is right here next to Markarth, which means that if we die, we don't have to go three quarters of the way across the country. Now, I know we'll encounter spiders to start off with. So that'll give us a good test against spiders and their poison. And then we'll, I guess we'll run into some Falmer as well, I think. So they also have poison, that could be really bad. I'm not hiding anything, it's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First you take away towers, now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongor. We're done. You. What's going on? Dead. No, you can't go in there. I can't talk about it. Rest assured, the Jarl hears everyone's concerns. You will be able to visit the dead again soon. All right. I was going to suggest the Jarl hire someone to sort this mess out anyway. We've discovered that some of the dead have been... Eaten. Flesh has been chewed off. Bones were snapped to get it. We haven't caught anyone or anything. If you can get to the bottom of this, the priesthood of Arcade will reward you. Take my key and be careful. Okay. Tread lightly in the hall. Actually, I think we get an amulet of Arcade if we do this quest, so. Eh. Eh. We can come back and do it later. Excuse me. Oh. Uh... Which one's Kaselmo? Is it you? Nope. I'm Kaselmo's nephew. I help him around the laboratory. Kaselmo. I have things to study. What is it? What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers. Excavation the site. Cell, the ruins underneath Markov. The wealth of artifacts that I've based. You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Tremor in all. I. I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work, and I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? Why do you need guards? To protect my research, for one. There are more cutthroat scholars out there, and the excavations into Nishunzel are... Nishunzel. Where my machines and traps still function, even after thousands of years. Persistent, aren't you? Oh, very well. Who am I? I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. There's a giant spider in the Chuan Zell. My workers call her Nimi, the poison one. If you deal with Nimi, I'll let you into both the excavation site and my Dwemer Museum. And sure! Yes, I'll kill the spider. Here's the key to the dig site. Don't let my uncle go on oh, He'll be here all night. Question is. Yeah, you know what? I'm not tearing apart the Red Eagle thing. Not happening. Gold's good and all, but I'd like to have some enchantments. Uh, actually, you know what? Do I have any uh, soul gems? I have a petty soul gem. Really? It's actually gonna do like, a fairly large amount. Although I don't have any enchantments worth putting on. I mean, I could put an enchant on the two-hander, 
but eh. You here to see the yard. No sudden move. No, I'm not here to see the Jarl, I'm here to go into Nishunzel. It does the a lockpick animation for using a key. Mm -hmm. Isn't there supposed to be a spider in here? Spider? Well, this looks fun. How much weight do I have? 225 out of 370. Whoa. It's not really going to help me here, but I wish to have your poison. Whoa. Well, I got poisoned for being an idiot. See? This is what happens when you loot corpses in the middle of combat. Moron. The sisters are communing with Debella. They can't be disturbed. Oh, be quiet. You'll have to come back. The sisters are communing with Debella. They can't be disturbed. You'll have to come back another time. Weird. Some of the reason my, uh, I guess I must have accidentally hit caps lock at some point. Because I did the whole console toggle thing to get it back, and then I realized it was on at that point. Dun, 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 dun. Load screens. Do do do. Yep. You can see those stone cloaks trying to break into this camp. What? Oh, right, right, right. For some reason I thought I was coming out of the Hall of the Dead. Because, well, I'm an idiot. So I'm almost level 6. Which is useful. Okay, okay, it's not really useful. It won't make a whole lot of difference, but... realize something. I wonder how the auto perk thing will work with uh, Dragonborn's legendary, well, more of legendary in general that was added. Being able to legendary a skill. <gasps> oh, apparently a hiccup. Anyhow, so apparently spiders are bad. Spiders will, well, eat me. Do Maybe I should put music on to uh, help fill in the parts where I'm just not talking. Because that seems to be a fairly common thing for me lately. Oh, right. 
one, three, two, six, one, two, okay. Iron hand, look, steel, steel, sling. The sling is needed in order to get the uh, the physics. How does the hood look? Eh. I don't know. You're a dead spider. Get deaded, spider. Okay, so their poison destroys me. Um. Oh. I don't know why, but for some reason those are invisible. Well. Here we go. What? The, what? That's supposed to be a much larger spider. Weird. Salonia. We've been settled with some researchers who can't go four steps without examining something, and they'll fight a and they fight about as well as you'd think. Probably worse. Strom at least has some magical competence, but none of them can swing a sword. Erge and Krog seem to be up to something, so I'll have to keep an eye on them, but Stubbs assures me they're trustworthy. Alethius. You know what? Let's take it. Oh, you can lightly see it, can't you? It's hitting the body! That's better. Well, into Nishan Zell. Although I think the shield is breaking things, by the way, because I'm sure you noticed the uh, paint goes away. Eh. It'll be fine again. The paint goes away whenever uh, putting it away. Come on. Whoa. There's apparently a trap there. Falmer ear, blue butterfly wing. Falmer armor. You know what? Let's humor the game. Well, first of all, how does it compare? 50. 49. <laughs> Oops. Hey, you. Hey, come out here where I can see you. Pay attention. Oops. I'm 
I'm thinking that either these are a lot harder to kill than expected. Why is it not paying attention to me? They're either a lot harder to kill than expected or I need to go with the other bow setting. I'll accept that method of killing it. So that's the way back up. And I can break the game and get up here. Because breaking the game is fun. I see an Imperial Cloak. Take it. Oh, come on. Drag. Okay. Oh, humanity. Found your familiar take those. I believe I can make a damage health poison out of at least one of them. Skill book. Excuse me, but... I'd like to be able to move you, please. No, 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 no. Fine. If I knew we dug deep enough, we'd eventually hit some fresh ruins. Markarth, the city built upon a city. From early pieces recovered, we've determined the name of the city is Nishanzel. But past that, we have very little info. We've been given an escort, though, and tomorrow we will delve into the city proper. It's only been a day, and I already miss my desk and chair. I thought it would be a little more fun to explore, but so far it's just been fighting spiders and getting to view an occasional rubble pile. Hopefully we'll get to the main ruin soon so we can set up a camp and I can start cataloging some of the new items I've been able to find. We found the armory earlier and Air has stayed behind to find a way into the main vault. If anyone can open the locks, it's him. We've kept going and settled up here for the night since the guards say it will be easy to defend. I've put up a few runes just in case. So much for easy to defend. Now is this the armory or is the other thing the armory? This is control. I actually don't want to go there yet. And I really don't want to jump down there. Armory. If I'm lucky, maybe I can find a dwarven chess piece or something. Oh, that's not good. Come here. Do I have any poison? I have a weak poison. And I have frostbite venom. Uh, I think I'll use the weak poison. Ow. Whew. That could have been a lot worse. I see. Okay. Skeever? You know what? Eight. Uh, yeah, I think I'll set the bow to five.
Whew. I don't like foam. Yeah, because things like that, poison, they are mean. Oh, there's why. The arrows and the bows are extremely reduced in damage, which it was only really the arrows that needed it. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take an Estus flask. Just to be safe. These things can be quite painful. Ow. something walking around. Uh, oh, iron ore. Nifty. Oh, right. I knew that. Nothing? Well, that was a bit of an idiotic idea. That's a mechanical walking noise. That worries me. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. Okay, these are mobs added by immersive creatures. So these could very well destroy me. I managed to split them up though, so there's that. Oh, hell. My life. Whew. Whew. Holy crap. Okay, I'll put it away manually. Maybe that'll make a difference. Greater soul gem. And what do you have? Dwarven oil, dwarven bolts. Okay. I didn't help much. That looks like a door. It looks like there's quite a few doors. How foolish to move through this place so quickly. It's taken me only a few hours to crack the back gate. Maybe I'll donate a cup or two, but Craig says he knows some private buyers who will pay handsomely for a working trinket. There has to be one in here. The side doors are all locked, but this chest should have one or two things of value. When I get out, I'm going to buy myself a castle. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, that quite worked out that way.
You know what, I'm kind of done picking up the uh, human flesh and hearts at this point. Now I'm 99% sure I don't want to touch that chest at the moment, but I should be able to break these locks. Maybe. Whoops. That's, uh, not quite what I meant to do, but whatever. Ooh, dwarven boots, dwarven helmet, dwarven gauntlets, dwarven armor, dwarven shield, dwarven greatsword. Okay, I'm now loaded. Yeah, that's that's a lot more stuff than I was expecting when I walked in here. But then again, I don't think it's going to make a whole lot of a difference in the scheme of things. Looks like the shield on back isn't working with this for some reason. Yeah. Hmm. Weird. Oh well. Alright. I should probably put the actual armor on. Dwarven armor, dwarven boots, dwarven gauntlets. Still don't like helmets. Yeah, check me out. I am an armored monstrosity. I thought he said they were all locked. This one isn't locked. Gold and stamina. Hmm. I didn't look around hard enough now that I think about it. I'm wondering if maybe I can find a dwarven cloak hiding out in one of these. Oh. So this doesn't seem like it has an effect. At least it didn't sound like it. Yeah. Wait, wait, let me get it to the light. Oh, this is the best we're gonna get here. Yeah. I'm overweight now. Oh, I'm still carrying the Fulmer armor. That's not helping. Okay. Okay. Bah. Eh. Come on. Why can't you be as simple as the previous expert lock? There we go. Can you picking increase to twenty? And twenty one. Two-handed attacks. Okay. Whew, that was a bit worrying. Well, oh, oh, now it's working. Oh, this is going to be terrifying. One-handed attacks do 20% more damage. And her necklace of resist shock. Oh, actually, I never rearmed the uh, defenses, so I guess those actually wouldn't be active now that I think about it. Those should activate with uh, if I was had gone into the control and reactivated it. The question is, what do I want to fight less? Dwarven automatons? Or Falmer? I'm thinking Falmer might be worse. Uh, 
Wait, but this isn't where I started. Oh crap. I think I've angered some Falmer. Oh, jeez. It's dumb of me to be looting while I know that there's still one that's looking for me, but... I think he's up top. Now that I think about it. didn't block the first attack and that's worrying. There's also the fact of getting my stuff back is going to be a complete and total pain now. What's the hurry? I need to go get my buddy. My buddy! Somebody? That I used to know? Somebody. Somebody my body. Oh, loading out in a mark car is going to take a little while, isn't it? It did last time. Mm. Squeaky chair. I feel like some kind of music would, you know, help this part of the, uh, the everything go by a little bit quicker. Of course, though, not using an E and B would make this go a little bit better. But... Screw that. <laughs> so why am I not at full health? Right, actually, sitting is what I want to do. Does this take me inside? No, that takes me to the Hall of the Dead. Can it remove quest items? Oh, it can. That. Ooh. I should be probably concerned about that, now that I think about it. Very very concerned because I don't know what happens if you die again after you've already died does it put up another thing and do you still have the ability to reclaim your stuff from the first one or does it do a Dark Souls and delete the previous thing because if it deletes the previous I would be having a bad day really need to stop the dying though I mean, it's still less dying than I did in Dark Souls, but Dark Souls also didn't work very well with the mouse and keyboard. I guess you could argue that this is just as broken. No, no, no. I always forget to turn here. You could argue that this is just as broken because I'm using the customizable camera, so my hits are actually off-center. But, I don't know. It's still more reliable than Dark Souls mouse and keyboard control, that's for sure. That is... for sure. Dark Souls 2 was okay, I think. I don't remember. And I don't own a controller. So... That's part of the reason why I haven't really been playing Dark Souls, is because... Oh, mouse and keyboard controls were so broken... that... it made it hard to play. If you know what I mean. Uh, 
Screw it. You. I need your armor for now. Screw it. I'll even put the helmet on. I don't care. I just need to make sure I can survive to get to my gear. And this is why not stripping every single body you see completely clean of its loot is a, you know, a good idea. I was, no, oh, I was on the top floor. And it's sitting right on my remains. Come here. No, don't pull out your bow. Okay. I can live with that. You know what? While I am also setting these things up, right, I need to drop four of those. Good, I think they actually fell off. What? It said 90 there for a second. Weird. Anyhow. I want to go at least drop this extra armor. Like, over here or something. Uh, right. I don't need the Forsworn stuff anymore. Uh, do, 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 do. Screw it, I don't need the Imperial Shield either. I just face palmed. You can't hear it, but I did. Actually, you might have been able to hear it. I'm sorry, the Temple of Devella is closed. I can't believe that. I drop the gear so that the gear will be available in case I die again. And the dropping of the gear put it on a pressure plate and killed me. That's pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, that's... That right there, that loading screen tip, that's a quest I feel like I should go do as soon as possible. Because that will make spells not quite so dumb. If it was, you know, if spells in this game were like Dark Souls and I had like a really good dodging thing and whatnot, then fine. I'd be okay with it. You know, the spells could be dumb as long as they were, you know, dodgeable like most of the ones in uh, Dark Souls. But they're not, so I really should go get Spellbreaker. Not even gonna go fully heal up at the bonfire. Don't even care. Unless the thing this actually fully healed me this time. I didn't look. I really want to finish exploring this place, but I'm going to get absolutely annihilated probably repeatedly. I was thinking for a second about shrines and the dweamer and then i remembered they they wouldn't there wouldn't be any shrines in their ruins because the dweamer actually abandoned all of the old gods they abandoned the adra and the daedra and they didn't believe in the nine divines because they were basically shunned for their work with soul gems and machines which Honestly, I think they were completely geniuses. Use the power of a soul to basically infinitely, you know, power your things and make steam? Like, I don't know how they did it. I'm not entirely the log sure in the logic behind, you know, how much power of a soul it would take in order to boil steam, but if you can enchant weapons with things like dealing fire and whatnot... 
and you can set a whole person on fire with it? I mean, I assume boiling uh, water wouldn't take a whole terrible lot. Where? Okay, first things first. Armor, 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 shield. Screw the helmet. Uh, don't need this. Go away. Minor luck. Amulet of Stendar. Uh, I'm gonna stick with that one. And then I want... I don't need you. Or you. Hopefully this doesn't get me killed. Dropping those very well might get me killed. Alright, it undoes all my hotkeys. Fun! So there's that button there. How did it trigger if the button's the whole way over there? That's weird. And interesting. But still weird. Nashon Zell Quarters. I might have to actually break this up. This is taking longer than expected. Generating stamina. Okay. Ha! Deal with it. see anything interesting. I'm assuming there's a Falmer up there. Oh, come on. That's just rude. Use the potion and everything. I think this is good for this episode. You can receive your blessing if you wish. 45 minutes. So when we next pick up, I will be inside the quarters and I'll be waiting to go run up and grab my stuff. So uh, see you guys next time. Have a good day.